Hey, this is Emma Patty, the photo editor of the DTH. There's 10 of us downtown Arlington working for the Washington Post the day before the inauguration, and we're just getting everything set up logistically. I'm really excited to be here in DC, and it's snowing, and it's supposed to be slushy tomorrow morning. And I will be on the mall at 4 a.m. <laughs> So it's exciting! It's cold, but we're gonna have fun. Here we are on Monday doing a test transmit from right outside the White House. Okay, my name is Stephen King, and I'm the editor of innovations for WashingtonPost.com, and we're trying to do a multimedia interface of map and time and we're going to take photos, video, and text, put them together uh, in one interface that allow the users to see what was going on at all the different locations throughout the inauguration. So we have over 30 photographers shooting and transmitting with geocoded data that will be automatically uploaded and placed in uh, into the interface in as close to real time as possible. So legit. Too legit. <laughs> See how many three of a kinds go by. <laughs> We're waiting around in the holy grail of the Washington Post newsroom. This is the room where all the big decisions happen. If you look over here on the wall, there's a plate, paper, you announce that Nixon. I didn't hear the bird. We're waiting around to look in. In our room, so we can go to bed tonight. We're waking up at 3:30 tomorrow morning, and heading out into the city and all of our different places. I'll be at the Lincoln Memorial. Emma will be on the mall, and we'll be shooting all day long. This is where we're sleeping the night before the inauguration. Yay! Fun times. It's an auditorium. So all I'm thinking right now: Can I stand upright? <laughs> And honor my country tomorrow, and my and the fourth estate. <laughs> this is Abby in her Vietnam sleeping bag that someone may have died in. <laughs> if I can get down without falling over. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, ready for bed. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> Did you see Bev the other day? Okay. Yeah, I sat right beside her. Put the other spoon in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it gratifying going to the inauguration? Oh, yeah, I forgot I made this station. It's a, uh, Prehistoric event. I was talking I mean, to one lady. This girl looks like you. I, remember, uh, I was talking to this one lady on the on the like mall. I said, "Well, you live in Arlington. What would make you want to come out and fight the crowds if you live here? And you know, it's just, it doesn't seem like it would be that big of a deal for you." And she said. What's the last event that has been celebrated like this in your lifetime? And I couldn't really think of one. She said, this is our big event. This is the big thing that's going to happen in our lifetime. So I'm glad I was there for it. Well, my name is really good. I get some pictures I'm really happy with. So that's good. But I have a horrible knot in my left shoulder. And I have, like, the John McCain thing going on because I can only, like, lift my arm this high because then it really hurts so I'm like it always waves like this you know so that's what I feel like I'm doing and my feet felt like blocks of ice for most of the day because the heat pads didn't work okay my day was fantastic after an initial two hours of like non-stop shivering and being frozen but some kind people around me from my hometown 
St. Louis, saw me shivering, and they offered me their sleeping bag. And this one woman there, who we called the mother, she rubbed my feet and tucked me in, and then it was wonderful, and I felt better, and I could like edit my photos and stuff. Yeah, oh, and I cried when I was interviewing this woman who was crying during the speech, and then she made me cry, and then we hugged. And I felt so connected to everyone, and I felt not like a journalist, I just felt like a person, like an American citizen. Yay. I was going to ask if y'all were going to but I forgot. I got sick. We in the metro, Abby? We're in the metro. Going back.